dig up here. Come. Here, we, 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 we. Go. Go up here. One, two. Yay, good boy. It's really a cool relationship we develop with a dog and agility to be able to guide them a particular way at full speed like that. And, and then with him, it's kind of extra special, both because of his personality and what all we went through together. I think that all feels great. So, so Flex had a cartilage problem, a ligament problem, and then the torn tendon. It was the whole team that, that helped put him back together, you know, and he can enjoy life the way he does, and I can enjoy him the way I do, and they're just so so much into what they do and they understand that the people that come here are usually pretty dedicated to their animals or they want to do it yes. Good. so when i see flex <laughs> compete at an agility trial and doing amazing and just seeing this energy in this dog or when i see frankie just simply walking up and down and not noticing a lameness and Steve telling me that Frankie is doing amazing. Those are equally rewarding. You know, that one is actually more arthritic than the other. She's such a runner and such a broad range of movement yeah, so and a big heart and big soul. It's just amazing. And now you look at her, it's just like, yep, everything's great. We're ready to run. Bridger is almost eight years old, just about two years now. He was frequently lame and limping and so uh, we kind of knew right away it was more serious than just a thorn in the paw kind of thing. Took him over to CSU. He was diagnosed with degenerative arthritis in all four of his joints. The other thing that's, that's really rewarding is when we see some of those dogs that actually have gone through all the established treatments. And a year ago, he did have um, surgery on his front joints. And then we do try something that's not quite established. And then in August we started the stem cell study. Suddenly there's a huge difference. We go for walks up and down the lane quite often and in the last three years Bridger has learned that he really can't go even though his heart wants to go but now he goes all the way down and all the way back. So our service is sports medicine and rehabilitation. So the sports medicine service focuses on the diagnosis, the treatment, and also the prevention of musculoskeletal injuries. And then our rehabilitation service is getting dogs back to full activity, post-surgical recovery. There's a lot more things to that, which includes, for example, conditioning programs, then mobility assistance, pain management. It's life-changing for them. My Danes, they'll be 13 in a couple of months. The Harlequin has polyneuropathy, and then the White Dane has a degenerative disc disease. And so keeping them strong, keeping them uh, moving, keeping them motivated to keep moving, they're doing fantastic. We feel that if there is a problem, we can figure it out. It just sometimes requires a lot of these advanced techniques. Gait analysis tool, we have PET CT scans that can show uh, muscles that are affected, then uh, ultrasound. It used to be your dog was lame, you would put him on a pain medication and put him in a crate and maybe leash walk them and that was sort of the extent of the program. And now we have all these great advances. We work as a team to come up with the best plan for each individual patient. <laughs> yes, all in. So when we see a client come here, then the first thing we do is we ask them, well, what are your goals and what is it that your dog loves doing? And when Barb came to us, she said, well, my goal is to be a world champion and my dog loves running very, very fast over an agility course. And so for some other people, their goals are, hey, my dog doesn't want to come for the morning coffee walk anymore. And so then we try to address these goals and we try to get dogs to do what they love doing. This is, I think, the greatest gift of the VTH is it's not just response or reaction, it's, it's really being strategic about how you live with your, with your friends like this and how do you protect them. These people are the best.